Okay everyone, so now let's like to go and install a specific version of Unity in our machine here. So I'm just going to go and install an editor and we can try to also look for the archive here because I want to go and look for let's say other versions or versions that I was working on previously. I just recently had to replace my machine because my PC died. So now let's have to go and look up the archive. Let's see. For access to long-term support, can't find the version you're looking for, visit our download archive. So if we try to click on here, that should be opening up a website from where you can get the LTS releases. So LTS just means long-term support and that will be... LTS is actually recommended for specific versions of Unity from where uh, developers are going to be locking in on that version for their production. So it is actually the best option for full production. And we can see here that I'm just going to browse through here for the specific version that I just want to install. So this is going to be especially useful everyone if you're going to be working on a project and you, you will be working with a collaborative environment so at least you can avoid having the need to upgrade if you're with a team and let's say for example your teams are working on a specific version of Unity so that there won't be that much of a conflict that you will need to deal with when you're trying to work on, for example, a Unity version 2019. Your team is working on that. So uh, most probably in the documentation, they will be having a Unity 2019 description of what version of Unity they are using for that specific project. So this is actually what we do in our team in Home Team Game Dev. You might be interested in learning game development in a collaborative environment so i would suggest that you try to check out hometeamgamedev.com i'll just be leaving a link to the description of the video so that you can try to check out the things that we do in home team game dev so going back to our video so in this page everyone you will be able to find the version of unity that your team may be working on and you can try to download it and that will be the one that you can try to work on a specific project so in my case i'm working on a unity 2021.3.0 and you can verify that because sometimes there are also some uh, f1 version and so on so uh, i'm sure now that this is the project build or the unity version that i was working on previously before my PC died so we have an option here guys to install it using unity hub or download it and get the installer so in my case I'm going to go with unity editor 64 bit here now we can see that I'm done downloading this so let's try to go run that let me just go to my download let's run the setup here Okay, so we now have the Welcome to Unity 2021.3.0 F1 setup. Just going to run this, accept terms of license and agreement. Next, select components to install Unity. It will require 5.0 gigabyte. And I'm going to install it not in my program files because that's a little bit. It doesn't have my SSD drive here has a low space availability. So I've just changed my Unity installs here. Now you would see space available is what 908 gigabyte. So I'm just going to go and try to install this now. Okay guys, now it's done. Let's try to go and go back to our Unity hub. Now let's have to go to projects here. I actually have a project here that I was testing out and I can see that I am using 2021 3.0 here and it's telling us open project and install editor version 2021.3.0 or select a different version below 
Please note using a different editor version than the one your project was created with may introduce risk. So what I think we can do here is to go and what would happen if we try to go here? Or let's just go and try to have installs and locate the editor. Just going to try to test this out if this will work. And now we have that. Let's see. And now that's working. Let's try to open this up. Okay, so we now have our Unity editor installed and we can now work on our project here. And that's specifically this version 2021 3.0. So if we needed to go and work on a specific version to get rid of a number of individuals or a number of teammates, it will be easy for you to now work on the same project version of the Unity editor that everyone is using in your team. And there are a number of ways on how you can do this. As I've said, you can also utilize the Unity Hub that will be running you through some more other options that you might want to click on. Like if you're going to be building a project for WebGL and other support for TV, TV or for iOS and Android. So that those are some other ways on how you can install up a specific version of unity in your unity hub here but for the meantime that's one of the process on how you can try to run a new project with a specific version in our unity hub here so that's it for this video and thank you and see you on our next video